<clears throat> hey there, my YouTube friends. Hi. I hit the record button. I just like a fun entrance. <laughs> if uh, you've been following me for a while, you know that to be true. Wear my Joan Jet t-shirt today. Cut it this way so it looks like I'm her thought bubble. Uh, yeah. Uh, but wanted to check in with you. Just finished the full moon to new moon reads. The Pisces one was very intense. I think longer than all the rest of them. So Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. The title itself is challenging, but have at it. Uh, and uh, I'm getting ready to do the soulmate contract reads. Uh, and my guides, I just went to walk around the corner uh, to the little corner market that I love going to. Really, really cool people there. And uh, they really, like, I was going to come back and start the soulmate reads. And my guys were like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. You take today off. You get ready because these are going to be different. I'm like, okay. They gave me the spread last night. It's really cool. I think it's like 19 cards. Uh, don't know if I'm doing extended. probably not. Uh, all 12 signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. But what I really want to tell you is that, um, you know, there's a lot of confusion about twin flames and soulmates and all that. So um, they wanted me to, I mean, and I want to do it too. I get why. Um, to just clarify, my definition of twin flame and soulmate has radically changed over the past, what, five years? Uh, never liked the words. I've talked a lot about it on live streams that I've done. If you want to check on the channel that I did last year uh, during the height of the cuckoo-ness on planet Earth and how important soulmate contracts are and radically different from uh, twin flames. And rather than talk about it, over and over and over every time I do these next 12 videos uh, to, to first of all point you in the direction of those live streams, but more importantly to point you in the direction of where I learned the new definitions from. Because I see such pain in people over uh, this twin flame soulmate thing. My clients, and I can feel it in the air, and the current definitions, because there are so many of them, spanning centuries, some millennia, if you want to go back to split apart, I think that was Plato or Homer. Go. Um, but those are third and fourth dimensional definitions that as we are now anchoring the fifth dimension of unity consciousness, there is a higher perspective and a higher truth. Oh, oh so there's a six dimensional higher truth up and up and up all the way back to the one, right? To the divine singularity. Uh, so I'm going to point you towards, and I say it every time, the work of Matt Kahn. I use this healing mantra deck. It's a genius healing system for me and my clients, and I'm sure many who uh, who uh, watch the readings that I do here. Um, but of all of his work, his YouTube channel has been of immense help to me over the years when I was really going through Dark Night of the Soul, some horrible, horrible devastation, <laughs> desolation, and destruction in my personal and career life ending me up on YouTube as a reader and meeting people from all over the world, which is, you know, I get it. Major, severe tower moments one after the other. Plus last year and so this year what's going on. Uh, but when I came across his video, Soul Contracts, Twin Flames and Soulmates Redefined, I'm just going to tell you, go watch it. You may not like it, but I would recommend you listen to it. It's long. It's, a, it's like a, a workshop. It's, it's really good. I think it's like an hour and something. Uh, worth every second of it, though. And he, he does this repeat after me thing that he does, and it's just really good. But his definitions, and I will severely Reader's Digest version this for you. Twin flames and soulmates are two types of soul contracts, number one. Number two, the foundation of those soul contracts are extremely different. Twin flames, you teach each other how to heal yourselves individually, because they cannot give you the love that you want, but often give you the love that you need that you may not want soulmates you help each other heal right so twin flames you teach each other how to heal yourselves love yourselves respect yourselves because they can't give you that uh soulmates you help each other heal whether you know each other or not whether you've met each other or not because it is a soul contract right so through um the quantum entanglement of a soulmate contract the best way to bring in a romantic soulmate, we'll get to that, we'll get to the classification as number three, I guess, uh, or to bring in any type of soulmate, is to heal yourself, right? And to to be the love that you truly are, to strip away the layers of, of the onion, if, if you like food metaphor, right? Uh, to find the jewel at the center of the lotus, if you want to go a little bit more Buddhist Eastern 
um, to to burn away the clouds around the sun that you truly are. Weather metaphor, honey. I got more metaphors that I forget what I met her for. Uh, uh, and that third classification is that twin flames and soulmates, you have hundreds, if not thousands of them in every lifetime. It's not just one person. My father was a twin flame contract. My mother is a soulmate contract. I was literally born into this. And I get why they sent my soul, the soul that I truly am to play Mark Angelo Lyons. You know, there are hundreds of different quantum versions of all of us, probably even more than that, <laughs> considering how many crossroads I've been at. Um, but I'm the purple haired witch version <laughs> living in Holbrook, Long Island of all places, probably moving to Saratoga in the next couple of years to be closer to my mom as we help each other heal, right? Continually, whether we want to or not, we always do. Um, but these are going to be the romantic soulmate reads. We're looking at the ones that are driving people nuts. And that's why I will not do twin flame contract reads anymore, unless it's a client. And it's like, is this twin flame or soulmate? Well, are you suffering? Chances are, are the, it's a twin flame. Are you not getting the love that you want from them? But can you see you're getting the lesson and the love that you need from them, which is sometimes none at all? Yeah. Or, or is it symbiotic, right? A twin flames, transformative, turbulent, tumultuous, soul flame, satisfying, symbiotic, sympathetic, right? And you can still do the divine masculine, divine feminine thing like that. I am predominantly divine feminine. To say 60, 40, divine feminine is probably not accurate. It's probably more like 70, 30, if not more. And I'm okay with that. You know, I'm gay, whatever. Get over it. It's Pride Month still. <laughs> whatever. Whoever. I know there's another version of me who is also gay but married to a woman with kids and he's a musician and he brings stuff home that he shouldn't, right? So I talk about twin flames set up there. And I've been through enough twin flames in this life. Darling, I'm ready for my happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, intimate, sexual, satisfying soulmate contract partner, my king, the emperor to my empress. I'm okay with that. I'm so down with that. But I feel so free and liberated right now as a result of all the work that I've done with all these twin flames in my lives. And uh, I know my worth. That's what they taught me, my worth, that they could never see it. So I had to find it for myself. And that's worth it. I mean, you need twin flame contracts. I'm saying avoid the twin flames. And you can still watch the other readings, right? You can still watch every other reading on YouTube about twin flames and soulmates. But if you hold that lens in front of you, it's like, wait, fifth dimensional version, right? What is this? What is this contract that, that's either driving me? Well, even soulmates can drive you crazy until you really consciously begin helping each other heal so uh you can still watch all those just pop those lenses and i translate it all the time so inside oh this is a, a twin flame thing i'm like no it's not or maybe it is but <laughs> but it's instantly i'm a virgo that that lens pops in and i'm like i get what you're saying but i call that this and everybody has the right to call it whatever you want the only reason i'm doing this video is not just to educate i do that just breathing apparently teach by example but these are my definitions that I am using for the readings on my channel. Other readers that I bring on the channel may well go back and use those others. I'm going to beg them not to, whatever, but to each their own. You know, live and let live, fairly take, fairly give. Thank you, Dorian Valiente. I mean, I'm a witch to my bones, to, in my blood, to my boots. I am Granny Weatherwax stock just waiting to happen. If you know who Granny Weatherwax is, I ain't in dead. <laughs> and the only thing uh, which needs to be afraid of in the forest is nothing the forest needs to be afraid of her, right? So, uh, so soulmate contracts, I love them. They're delicious. They're certainly not as traumatic as those twin flame rings where never again the twin flame rings. Um, but just keep that in mind. Like if you're watching these readings elsewhere, pop that in. It's like, is it possible? Just give it a shot. I, don't, I mean, ultimately, do I care what anybody else thinks? I didn't get to look like this with that and that up there if I really cared what other people think. But certainly, I am, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow, and I am taking the rest of the day off today to go sit in my garden and cook myself up a blue apron and see who the gods throw at me next, because I got the shot in the arm right under my pentacle there. Good old J&J, &J, right? Five more days, and, and, uh, and I, I will be free to go maskless in the world. I'll still carry one just in case, in case people get antsy. I'm an empath. I'd rather just put on the freaking mask. Isn't that right, Joan? She's a little silent right now, a little out of character for her. I have really, I have two Joan Jett stories. I met her twice. 
some snowy night by the fire. Uh, so I hope uh, I, I hope you will consider this. And uh, I know the soulmate reads are like the largest things that I do. So, you know, I'll wake up tomorrow, 5 a.m., probably knowing me, right? Shave, you know, well, I already shaved today. I already shaved tomorrow. I'll like shower, do my yoga, do my prayer, do my Wim Hof breath, have a nice strong cup of coffee, a prayer cigarette, light some sage, lights, camera, action, a little makeup because you should be able to see everybody's eyelashes on YouTube. Just my personal opinion. And no one needs to look oily on camera ever. Not while there is, uh, what do I use? Elf finishing powder. <laughs> Love that stuff. Considering my relationships with elves, <laughs> that I actually use a product named Elf is kind of funny. A little mascara, a little eyeliner. And I'm going to give you the best that I got. And I really want to enjoy these. Yeah, it's waning moon. Yeah, 10,000 planets are retrograde. But what a better time to reevaluate. What a better time to really look at what soul contracts you're in. The happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, intimate, sexual, satisfying soulmate contracts. And by the way, you could have more than one. And I do have more than one of those. I'm just one. Because I, I consider them king's candidates, right? To be the king to my queen. I mean, also to be the queen to my king. I have both. But certainly, which, which of those... Um, King's candidates will become emperors and be able to not just sit by my side and rule by my side, partners, but marry me. So I've never been legally married in this life. That's why I wear the ring of Diana on my ring finger, <laughs> the mother of all. It's to her I am wed now and she's in charge. Yeah. So let's go look at some contracts this week. I am psyched. And uh, by all means, check your other signs because I can think of three or four different men in my life that could play that role. But they're all going through so much the same thing. Ew, holographic reality. So we'll see if they're twin flame soulmates or what have you. And I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, so thank you for listening and watching. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Probably Netflix. I just, what did I watch? Tresse on uh, on Netflix. Really good. <laughs> Give me a supernatural animated thing <laughs> that has cursing in it. Both kinds. I am down. So wishing you all the very best and the very blessed of whenever the heck you watch this. Um, and it is my honor to serve. Remember, I was raised by a lawyer, so I'm good at reading contracts <laughs> since age five, apparently. <laughs> so uh, have a really great day and I'll uh, see you in the soulmate race. Bye.